This is week eight of the spring trimester. So previously, using color for the first time was feeling really quite a bit awkward, but this last week, um, I've definitely feeling a lot more comfortable with it, which is really good. And this week, the light was changing a whole lot. There were days that were really cloudy and days that were really sunny. Um, and I'm finding that the sunny days, the figure looks a lot grayer, and cloudy days are the best. Cloudy days, the figure is a lot more colorful, and it's just a better light effect in general. And so I'm really trying to chase the color, so when I mix up my palette, when I mix up my uh, paint mixtures each day, uh, I'm really paying attention to how the model looks that day under either a cloudy day or a sunny day, and so um, my mixtures will change daily with that. And the big thing that Matt was really pushing me this week to work on was to uh, look at the figure and make sure that you're, I'm seeing like big long forms in the figure. So for example, on the model's side uh, where it's really bright, I was, as I was putting in the color to represent all of the little uh, anatomy that's in there of all the muscles, the bones, and the fat, um, and finding all those little pieces, Matt was saying um, that's definitely not wrong to show that because it's all there, but to make sure that the, the big side of the plane is really evident too. So I was really practicing to showing all those details and little planes, but make sure that it also, all those little planes look like they're part of really one big plane. And then now for my cast painting. This cast has been, it's been so much fun to paint. And all this week I've been really working on bringing the, all the lights into the painting and really trying to key up the painting, so trying to get it as bright as I can. But what I really want to talk about is what I did on Friday. Um, so on Friday Matt came by for critique and I was telling him that uh, I'm definitely happy with this painting and I like the direction that it's going in, but I kind of don't know what to do right now because I there's something about it, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but there's something that I didn't quite like about the painting. And I was saying that he thinks it's a stylistic choice or the technique that I was putting the paint down with, and he said that it looked like I was scumbling everywhere, which I was. But Matt was saying that scumbling across the whole painting is probably not a good idea and that I should be practicing more wet into wet painting. And I've definitely painted um, wet into wet in all of my paintings before. I do that way more than I scumble, but how I was doing that before was kind of more of a safe and timid way of doing it because <clears throat> painting wet into wet can be really, really terrifying um, because it's really easy to destroy everything and you can really lose the drawing and the structure. And so that's especially because this cast is more complicated with all the folds. That's why I was scumbling more, uh, just to be safer with it. But Matt was saying I should really practice wet into wet. And so especially in the top area where it's the brightest, where it's the chest, it's kind of just that uh, blocky shape. So he was saying even if you completely destroy it, it's going to be really easy to find that drawing again. I, for the rest of Friday, I just really went at it. And I took the biggest brushes that I had. I had some 10 flats, which I think are about like that big if I remember right. Um, and so I took one brush of the shadow color and I painted that all the way across into um, and over the top part, the brightest part of the cast, which is terrifying. And then I took another brush with that had the light cast um, color and pulled that all the way to the background. And I just kept going back and forth until I found the edge that I wanted, which is a more soft edge. Um, and painting one into wet, yeah, you get really interesting edges, really interesting effects this way. And also, so when I was painting this way, I was um, using the brush strokes then to create planes, um, destroying everything completely, <laughs> and then refining them again. And it was just a really exciting and scary and a really fun way to paint. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave you with this photo that I have uh, at the end of the week. I have, it's a little blown out, um, but it has the cast right next to the setup.